Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Storm with Excel VBA is Fun. It's a beautiful Saturday evening, and I'm just trying to answer some questions in my YouTube inbox. We got another question, um, and this is uh, we're basically trying to reference uh, from this workbook. We're trying to get some information from the other workbook that's called Purchasing Database. And so, what we need to do uh, in order to in order to find the location, uh, basically, we need to let's do equals cells equals cell, and we want to know not the address, but we want to know the file name, and then the reference. We'll just say, how about yeah, this? It doesn't matter. So there it is. <clears throat> it's C users Daniel downloads because I just downloaded the workbook slash purchasing database dot xlsm. Let's copy that. Control C, right click SV, or click on the values special values SV. Okay, so we've uh, now we have the actual location instead of a formula. I'm going to shave off the worksheet hidden uh, or am I maybe I'm not let's see here um, yeah I am I'm just gonna take this information here control C to copy now let's assuming this locations always this workbook always is gonna be in that location let's go ahead and help hit off alt F11 on our worksheet that we want to reference he said that in this case he's tried various options and most of them have pretty much flopped. So let's hit F8 and try to debug through this. I equals workbooks purchasing database dot xlsm dot names. And this is the range that he wants. Formula underscore max collective number dot refers to name. And he put them in brackets because that's the evaluation formula. So it's good thinking. Let's see if it, it okay, so it's it's getting an error. Let's go ahead and comment out that line. Let's see if we can perhaps find another uh, way to do that. Let's go ahead and set, uh, let's see, let's dim WS as worksheet, because we're going to we're gonna want a worksheet in here. So let's say that um, set WS, we're going to set up our worksheet to be equal to uh, workbooks, and let's see if we can maybe try that there. And if that doesn't work, then perhaps we'll just put purchasing database.xlsm using the workbooks object. It looks like he already tried that. So we'll go with that. Let's see if we can set that up. Expected list as I said. Well, I didn't put my in closing parentheses. Naughty me, naughty me. Okay. Okay, so that may or may not work. Let's hit uh, F8. F8. All right, so they didn't like that. Let's uh, take the brackets off just for another experiment here. I'm all about experimenting. All right, so maybe the workbooks object, they just want the, the name of the workbook and not the actual file path. So let's see. Well, okay, as as a worksheet, we need to declare it as a workbook. Workbook. Silly, silly, silly. Let me undo a little bit here. Bear with me. Remember, we're all learning together, right? A little bit. Let's do workbook. Okay. Yeah, that'll reset the project. whoop de doo All right. Let's see if that works. We're setting that as our workbook there. Subscript is out of range. Fine. We'll do it this way. That's the way we were going to do it originally anyway, see? Alright, so that worked. We've set WS to be the, this current workbook that we do have open over in another tab. So that's good. So I think we have a reference point now. Okay, so the range that we want to get is called formula max collective number. I'm going to control C to copy that. Whew. Uh, let's let's see here. WS 
dot and what sheet did we want dot sheets uh, I think it's called hidden is what the sheets name was dot range paste which is control V that's the range that we want so pretty much let's just set a variable to, to that end how about uh, my number you can use something shorter than that if you want my number equals blah 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 this range so a named range is nothing more than just it's still a range so you could put a1 which we know that's a range right but you can also put named ranges by name in right in there so let's let's back up a, a step here variable not defined oh, of course he's got option explicit on his ugh, gag but that's okay let's go ahead and set up my number Oh, dim my number as variant. It might want to reset. Oh, good, it doesn't. So let's let's go here now. My number equals ws that workbook dot sheets hidden, and the range is formula underscore max collective number. All right, so they don't like that either. Well, fooey. Did I get the workbook name correct? I wonder. Hidden. And O equals formula underscore max collective number. Here we go. Oh, it might not be in that, uh, it, it might not, oh, it's not in that worksheet, it's just, okay, so it actually, it wasn't on this sheet called hidden. Um, let's go back here and show you. They referred to the formula underscore max collective number, but it's not actually on this worksheet. So it may not be on any, alt ind will bring up the names manager. The formula max click number is assigned to just the workbook. It is not in a particular sheet. So, okay, so very interesting. Let's see. Let's just try doing ws.range because it's a work a workbook to range. Let's try that. F8, okay, they don't like that either. Hmm. ws dot let's see dot activate so we'll do that <laughs> my number equals range formula max collective number but they really don't like that do they Fine. We'll go to the developer tab here and record a macro and see how they like to see it. <laughs> record a macro, hit OK, hit that, hit enter, and stop recording. Alt F11. Let's go to our. Let's see. Of course, it saved it in my personal workbook. Okay, so uh, active cell dot formula r one c one equals equals formula max collect. Fine, 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 fine. Let's try that mess. Let's try something similar to that. All right, let's hit Alt F eleven. We'll go back to our our trial here. equal 
sign in there, don't they? All right. Well, let's walk through it again. We'll figure it out. Activating that. My number equals that formula. Okay, we don't want it to be that. And we'll probably need to use the evaluate formula. But let's see. Yep, okay. So let's try brackets first. If that doesn't work, we'll see what else we can try. Aha! Aha! I love the evaluate formula. Ha ha ha, I love it. Alright, so we did it. Let's see if we can skip the activate business. We probably can't, but let's see what's up. Let's go ahead and select the one that we want to be in the forefront when we click the macro here. Let's go we'll set the workbook to be that. And we'll do... empty Oops. all right so my number is empty it's probably gonna give us an error yeah it is So it's, it's looking like probably the best way to do it is to go ahead and activate or open the workbook that you're wanting to use and then plop that into a variable that you want. So that way it knows. Uh, I'm sure that there's a way to tell it which workbook that you want using these nice little, uh, I don't know, ws.path or ws.name or something like this. Um, and using all these, you know, nice little uh, apostrophes and brackets and all these things, but uh, there's, I like to do it the easy way, the, the easiest way possible to save a lot of headache. But if you have to do it the other way, then you know, by all means. But it seems to work just fine. There you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, God bless you guys.